day four. I'm excited and a little chilly. All right, how you feeling going into stage four here as pilot? Uh, cold. Yeah, cold, cold right now. Um, but it's not raining, and it's been raining the past uh, two and a half ish days. So I'm happy the sun's out. It's drying out. All right, how you, how you feeling going into stage four here? I feel like uh, as long as I'm a smooth on the scroll gap, then it's going to be full gas going laurel and hammer the gravel. I can't wait for that. I just need to get through this slick stuff. <laughs> How you feeling going into stage four? Um, you know, I just want it over with. I'm not sure uh, the wind is going to be great today. And I'm not sure if I'd rather yesterday's rain over today's wind and cold. But we'll see. I'm going in with no brakes. Can't wait for that. How are you feeling? It's like a whole new bike today. Oh wait, it is a whole new bike today. All right, give me the weather report. What's happening out here? <laughs> it's freezing, man. Oh, I didn't dress for this. How are you feeling going into stage four here? Good. <laughs> I'm ready. Ready to finish it. I plan on finishing the race. How do you feel about? Uh, I'm pretty excited. Rock today. <laughs> excited for some dry weather. <laughs> All right, open men's leader, old Clark. What's happening in the men's race? What are we down to here? What are the gaps in the oh, GC? Wait, it's a tight gap. Carson's 20 seconds behind me. Um, after that, it's a couple minutes, but Carson's gonna be, I, I mean, I would expect him to be pushing it today, all right away. Maybe maybe, maybe he'll wait until the single track and then do what he did in Squirrel and just start hammering the, the flowy stuff, which he's really good at. And uh, yeah, I gotta decide whether I wanna let him do that and follow, or maybe go ahead of him and into it. We'll see. Ryan Johnson, what's happening? No, nothing. Just trying to get warm for this race. Brad, where, where are you sitting right now? The DC? I think sixth or seventh. I had a decent any move, first Any day. room to move up today or tomorrow? I or? think so. Yeah, I need carry to have an issue or flat or have a bad day. How are you feeling going to stage four? I'm excited. I heard it's rocky. <laughs> Where, where are you sitting in the GC? I think fifth. You got any uh, room to improve? Yeah, that's what yeah. I There's always room to improve, but the descent is my yeah. only chance, really, because I don't climb quickly. <laughs> but I can go downhill, so we we we'll see. One. Good morning. Right. You're the women's, what, 40 plus? 40 plus, yeah. yeah how's it going out there? It's hard. <laughs> It's hard, but I'm trying to keep a good attitude today about it. Is there anyone close to you going into stage four? So I think I have like 12 minutes on the GC, but she got me yesterday because the downhills. It was like a big enduro day, and Naomi is crushing those downhills. So <laughs> I just kind of hammer the climbs today. <laughs> All right, Andrea, what's going on in the open women's race going into stage four? Give me the report. All right, so I'm sitting in second place. We have a badass racer, I think local, uh, Canadian, but I see she wears Brevard shorts, so I think she's local. Nicole Bradbury is winning. Nice, solid lead. She kills the downhills and is very fast uphill as well. So I think she's sitting pretty, barring kind of a disaster, mechanical disaster, but uh, the rest of us are decently close, 15, 20 minutes. Again, mountain biking, anything can happen. It's not like road racing where someone's behind you with a spare bike. You know, if you're out there and something happens, you gotta fix it yourself. So, nothing said until you cross the finish line on the last day. Back in with our uh, race leader. Is it 40 plus? 40 plus? 30 plus. What do I look like? 30 plus, 30 yeah, to 39. Yeah, 30. 20 plus, sorry. <laughs> What's going on in your Whew, It's been a week, man. This is my first time ever riding down here in good old Brevard, Pisgah, and it's been, it's been an adventure. Um, wet, slop, mud, uh, awesome climbs, awesome descents. It's been a heck of a week. All right, how, how safe are you going into stage four? Uh, I got, a, I think, almost 17, 18 minute lead, maybe. So pretty it's pretty safe, but. Keep it upright. Um, yeah, keep it upright. I had a crash yesterday I was a little disappointed with coming down Bennett's, but other than that, um, I'm still gonna pin it, you know, especially on the climbs, but um, pilot gap, I, I might slow it down a little bit. So we'll see what today brings. All right, who's, who's gonna carry the boat? Oh, <laughs> Don Powers! <laughs> Me!
I suck, man. I ain't carrying no boats! Safety first today. <laughs> I guess not to left. Yeah. Yeah. 
What did you think of Pilot Rock? I like that run. That was fun. That was fun. I'm really surprised how well the trail held up, given all the rain yesterday. Um, really fun. What do you guys think of Pilot hey. Rock? Pilot Rock may not be a bike trail, but it's it's something else. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty awesome. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna figure out. What yeah, happy figure. to get down in one piece. That's for sure. That was good fun. Oh, yeah, the wind. <laughs> All right, so was it your birthday today? Yes. How was your birthday was, on Pilot? It, it was awesome. I love climbing Laurel, so I just really had a great day. I don't think I'll do this again on my birthday next year, though. <laughs> I think one's enough. <laughs> yeah, what happened today? Ah, the sun was out. And, God, I don't even know. <laughs> it was a beautiful day. The trails dried out so fast. It was still a little slippery, but super fun, super dry at the end. Um, what happened today? Uh, Jesus, I don't know. Wait, hold on, turn that off for a 